want to see our cantaloupe. As you can see, look at how they're going to be ready. It just pops out itself. People pass away from this heat, you know? That's what they need to understand. That this heat ain't no joke. They need to keep their body maintenance with water. If you don't have no water, you already know how it feels, you know? So with all these, you know, fruits and vegetables that we grow here, which is great, and there is a lot of demand for those, I can grow all the crops on my farm with 15 or 20 people, but then I need several hundred people to pick the crops. So we have a lot of, a lot of seasonal needs for people that just come in in the summer to work the crops. Heat stress is a very dangerous thing, especially for people who are starting to work the first day of July and it's hot, and if they haven't been working in the field, it, it can be quite dangerous. It's been years since there's been a fatality among an agricultural worker from pesticides. On the other hand, heat exposure has become more significant as a hazard for agricultural workers uh, for a variety of factors. One is climate change. The temperature is getting warmer and when you're working outdoors you are vulnerable. You are excessively exposed to that and at risk, particularly doing heavy labor. But there are other reasons. Work organization has changed, mechanization, pace of work, all of those are factors that have changed over the last few decades and made heat a more significant health problem, uh, in fact, than agrochemicals. We emphasize that during the training. It's like, if, with this knowledge, you can save the life of someone. Y si llegan a enfermarse mucho, 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 que necesitaran que se, estos ya se descomponen y ya no filtren, it's very important because the weather is changing and the temperatures are going to be like more extreme. We really need to be more aware of how that is affecting us. It's important to get, uh, get the people trained early, get them on board with the program so that they're they're drinking plenty of water, they're taking their rest breaks uh, when they're supposed to. I think it shows in, in, in the results of what we've been doing. There used to be frequent deaths in the fields from heat exhaustion or heat stress. In the last five or six years, there have been very few. I think that's, that's a result of growers taking on programs to try to prevent that from happening. Just taking the issue of a changing climate, we know the ambient temperatures are getting warmer. And that directly translates into increased risk for outdoor workers such as farm workers. So this is an effort to reduce the individual risk from the climate change that every projection, every single projection in a climate model says is going to occur. It's a project not only for today, but for the future. <laughs>